Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. guys it's Zarks coming at you today with another youtube video and today we have got an insane gameplay about to happen here we have jerry rice we have mike haynes i'm excited now also if you guys have not already seen it over on the main channel i did do a pack opening this morning it was insane and also i have a 200 hundred dollar pack opening coming out should be like pretty shortly after this video yeah uh Go check it out. Now, I'm going to give a shout out to Justin Thurman for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subs to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. And also, I want to say thank you guys very much for all the support on the gameplays over here. It seriously does mean a ton. But we have Jerry Rice today, 93 overall. Now, with Jerry, I do, of course, have uh, the strategy cards to get like the wide receiver speed boost. I also have the DB one, so you're going to see plus two speed to both of those guys. But you guys see Jerry Rice here, 94 speed, 89 jumping, 93 catching, 91 catch traffic, 91 spec catch, 89 short, 91 medium, and 94 deep route running. Yeah. This card's going to be crazy. 91 change direction, 92 juke move, 92 break tackle. Also has 61 run block and 51 impact block. Now, in terms of abilities, of course, we are running double me. I'm also running route technician on him here in tier number two. And then deep out elite in tier three. He also does get like outside apprentice, slot apprentice, whatever you really want to run on him, you can run on him. Now, of course, he gets Raiders, uh, 49ers, and Seahawks chemistry. You guys can see all the different like card arts he also gets as well. You guys can check this out if you want to. To. the ltd one's pretty cool but i just like to run the power up and then we've also got mike haynes you guys see up to a 93 overall 93 speed 92 excel he's got 89 agility 92 jumping 89 play rec 91 man 93 zone with a 92 press he's six foot two 91 change of direction 81 block shed 81 hit power like this card's crazy too i'm running universal coverage and acrobat you guys can see he does get everything else you probably would want here on a cornerback uh, of course doesn't get anything like a force or anything that would be insane you need 95 hit power 95 overall so don't even think about anything like that film study as well not there and of course it does get raiders and also patriots camp let's get into it Looking to take your game of Madden 22 to another level? Make sure to check out HotRoute.Tips. Get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes from Madden Pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. All right, so that is going to be... I think that's my opponent's top three, actually. Is that my opponent's top three? Yeah, that is. So my opponent has got Jerry Rice as well. And it looks like my opponent didn't want to play. All right, so the first guy did not want to play. So we're hopping into the second game here and i'm gonna try to go deep here with jerry oh we've got him oh we've so got him oh we have so got him jerry rice deep down the field yeah this guy uh i didn't see his top three i was busy but he has no abilities and i don't think he has the best team so something tells me i will definitely be hopping into another game for this gameplay because this guy's got joe burrow at qb uh, he does have calvin but Something tells me that's not the full Calvin Johnson. So I'm definitely going to hop into another game here, but I want to see if I can get him to rage quit. And I want to see if he actually tries to throw at Mike Haynes as I'm going to watch out underneath for B. And instead, he just lobs it up right to me. Cam Chancellor with the easy interception there and a stiff arm in the alignment. And it looks like, yes, he's going to be quitting out here. So we're going to hop into another game here. So that is my opponent's top three here. Hopefully this is the last game we have to play. That's Jerry Rice and Mike Haynes. I just really feel like people are too scared right now to try and throw at Mike Haynes, but I really want them to throw at him. I want to see if he can make a play on the ball. He's got the speed. He's got the coverage stats. Maybe he's just... He's just going to lock people down here, but he's starting off the 29, and he is trying to take a deep shot down the field. Mike Haynes could have a pick. I thought for sure we were going to have an interception right there, but hey, he made a play on the ball. I uh, feel like it probably should have been a pick, but it is what it is. He's going to motion over David Moore. I believe that's probably who he has there. I'm going to come back down for that, and Ed Reed couldn't get his feet in bounds. All right, so two plays, honestly, could have been two interceptions. I'm going to run some man coverage here on third and 10, though. Let's see if we can see some lockdown coverage out of Mike Haynes. He's going against Tyreek Hill. I'm guessing it's probably the 89 overall Tyreek as, wow, who was that that just got uh, Antro roll? 
of course. Antrail Roll has just been getting absolutely demolished for me personally. I'm gonna come back across the middle. I knew he was gonna try to throw there. And honestly, this probably could be a pick six, but I'm gonna go down one more yard to Jerry. I kinda thought that's where he was gonna go with that ball, but down to the 31, I'm trying to go to Jerry Rice on this little corner route. So hopefully it's man coverage. Okay, it's man coverage. Jerry Rice to the end zone. Jerry with the TD. Honestly, if you have Jerry Rice with the speed that he has, with the route running that he has, and also I've got route technician on him, I don't think there's a single corner in the game right now that can actually guard him in man coverage. Like, I, I just don't think there is one. And I know that I have Mike Haynes on the team. I don't know if Mike Haynes could even guard Jerry Rice right now with the way that defense plays versus offense. And as I said, with the route technician, all the route running, the speed, I think Mike, ha Mike Haynes would probably, uh, probably get beat. And he's going to chuck it deep here. And Ed Reed is going to get the INT. I'm going down again. All right, so I know he's probably running man coverage again. And I really just want to try to chuck this deep. So I'm looking for Jerry here. I'm not looking anywhere else. And unfortunately so, with me doing that, yeah, he's not open, but Reggie back across the middle. Good catch. Now, this is probably going to be pretty risky here, but again, I am looking straight up at Jerry Rice and probably nowhere else, even though we're going to have Calvin. Eh, Calvin's actually not open, and Jerry just ran his route all the way to the end zone. I'm going to try to take off. I can, I can make that pass, right? Right, Bumper? Jamar Chase could catch. Honestly, I'm just trying to get the ball in Jerry's hands and see if he can do something after the catch. So here he's going to be wide open across the middle. Why, why was that such a terrible animation? That was seriously just an awful animation there as I'm going to throw an out route. I know it's man. And I know he's shading outside. It definitely looks like it. But uh, he's not going to be open. We're going to have Reggie open in the flats. I'm going to take that, hit a little spin, hit a juke, and break a tackle too. All right, so I know that Jerry Rice isn't necessarily a jump ball wide receiver. But... He's really expensive, so he should be able to make these jump balls, right? Calvin Johnson can do it. Why can't Jerry Rice? And, of course, he actually played the perfect coverage really to stop that as I'm kind of just hoping that Jerry just turns his route. I'm literally only looking for Jerry Rice. I am only looking for Jerry, and he is not moved. Jerry, move from your spot so I can throw the ball to you. I'm just going to take off. I really wanted to get the ball to Jerry Rice there in the end zone, but he just wasn't moving. So on first and goal, I'm doing a jet sweep to him. Can we hit the edge and get in? Can we hit the edge and get in? Jerry Rice just too fast. Honestly, I should run that play more often because the jet sweep really does, it does work this year. It really has worked for me a lot. As Antro roll, you're going to get beat again. How are you so bad? When I get the ball back, I think my plan is actually going to be to run another jet sweep like instantly and see maybe what we can do with uh, Jerry Rice on that second and one coming up though. And I'm going to look out for David Johnson. All right, all right, I don't have anything to say about that. That was uh, interesting, interesting to say the least. As let's see what he's gonna go to. You gotta think he's gonna try to take a deep shot on me as I'm looking out for right bumper right down the middle of the field. Cam, get the pick. Cam Chancellor makes a lot of good plays, but also sometimes he just swats instead of going for the pick. And I don't understand. I actually have Acrobat on him as well. So with Acrobat, you think he'd be able to get that interception there. As I'm going to look out underneath. I knew he was going to go there. All right, man coverage once again. And I am going to jump out here to the right side and try to cover anything that's open. As that could have been open. Fourth and five. I am sending a blitz right at him. Hopefully he can get home or he tries to throw it. Mike Haynes as, dang it, I really thought David Johnson was going to go to the right. He went to the left. So he's down to the 33-yard line. Is he going to run? No? Okay. No run again. All right. Cool. I'm going to look out across the middle for X. It's not going to be open. And Ed Reed with the interception. Just go out of bounds. And like I said, I'm going to come out here and try another jet sweep because it worked on the goal line. Let's see if it works out here. Jerry. Oh, if we could have hit that spin, dude, we were gone. We honestly might have been gone to the house right there if I hit that spin to the inside and don't get tackled. We might be gone. But I'm going to look for Jerry Rice here on this little crosser. He's going to try to use her on it. But honestly, I think we can fit it in. All right. Tried to bullet it down the field. Apparently, Vince Young has no arm strength. That right there, I think, is just a matter of not having set feet lead, honestly. Which is why I think Daniel Jones I should probably go back to. Because you guys saw what I was going to there. And it was actually open. All I had to do was lead it down the field. 
the ball gets thrown behind Jerry Rice. And with Daniel Jones, I feel like that's a completion right there. But he's down to the 25 already, and he's going to be going back to the same exact play, I think. I'm going to look across the middle for X, though. And I can't get back there, Mike Haynes. Someone grab the pick. All right, fourth and four. I think I've got him all locked up here. I'm looking out underneath for X. I'm going to come back and play on B. And he's going to the end zone. Revis with the dropped INT. Well, Vince Young, do you want to try to throw a TD? Or do you want to just completely underthrow the pass again? That is going to be up to you. Because right here, we might have... Oh. I wanted to throw it so bad. We have B open, though. Gotta take it. Calvin Johnson wide open. Him showing off the speed here, too. I wanted to throw that so bad to Jerry Rice, but he was usering on it. Down to the 42, though. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Jerry Rice one-on-one. -on -one. Intercepted. Well, it was one-on-one -on -one coverage, and we have Jerry Rice, which it's Jerry Rice with the stats that he has, and also with a deep out elite. So, honestly... Eh, I would probably throw it again. Good hit. I wanted to at least give Jerry Rice a try there. Maybe we got a little bit messed up because we didn't really get an animation going for the ball there. So a little bit disappointing. But seven seconds left here. I just don't want to get beat deep. I just do not want to get beat deep down the field. But Mike Haynes, I don't think Tyreek Hill has a single catch right now because he just hasn't been able to get the ball to him. Hasn't been open at all. And this could potentially be the final play of the first half here, depending on what he does as he's gonna reroute down the field i'm gonna watch jc horn get torched you better get the tackle. you better mike okay so we couldn't get the aggressive catch but jerry rice is still having a pretty solid game here as yes i'm going right back to the jet sweep i really wanted to try it again jerry with the spin i, I got the spin that time but couldn't get off i was hoping he would just like bounce off the tackle right there unfortunately could not do that as he's not gonna be open here can I reroute him? Jerry, go up the field. Jerry, go up the... What are you doing, Jerry Rice? Okay, that was almost so bad. He literally stopped. Like, he was starting up the field and then stopped, but we get the TD. I think right now, there's really two wide receivers you could say are the best. Although, in my opinion, I really feel like Jerry Rice truly is the best wide receiver. It kind of comes down to what you want to do as Mike Haynes just got torched. All right. Well, he never pulled out that cover three beater all game. That's honestly not even on Mike Haynes there, guys, because that's just a cover three beater. Nothing Mike could do about that. But I do want to say, as I was saying, Calvin Johnson and Jerry Rice, really the two best wide receivers in the game right now. Calvin, obviously, more of the aggressive catch, using his big body to get those catches. But Jerry has, like, the all-around, like, receiving threat that he is he's the best once again i am definitely gonna try to take a deep shot here to jerry rice if he's open and uh, unfortunately he's not open but we can reroute why here and why did he take so long to move jamar chait that's khalil mack out there in coverage and i don't want to take a big hit yeah khalil mack out there in coverage probably uh not the best move but down to the 23 he's using on Corey littleton we have the in route though to jerry wide open so listen we're up by 14 points. We're at the 13-yard line. I am going to do it again. Jerry Rice to the outside. Another interception. All right. Well, I know you guys want to see me chuck up aggressive catches and see if they can get those balls. Jerry Rice two times now. Again, maybe it was about the ball placement on that one, but two times now. Interception. All right. Let's see if we can get a stop here. I'm hoping he throws it at Mike as we get another hit. Turnover on down. All right. So we got another turnover there and we're up by 14 points. So I'm just going to really be force feeding the ball here to Jerry. One on one man. Why was the ball thrown so bad? But Jerry Rice is going to easily take this one in for a TD. If you get the ball in his hands, dude, he's he's gone. So the two minute warning is just hit and this guy is slowly making his way down the field. But I was kind of hoping he'd throw my canes, but to be honest with you guys, on defense, like if I'm doing a cornerback gameplay or someone in the secondary and they don't get thrown at that much, it's probably a good thing. Yes, I know he got beat on the cover three beater, but that's literally nothing that he can do about that. That's not in his coverage at all. It's just the way zones work. He did end up coming away with a victory there, guys. And as you guys can see right here, Jerry Rice, six catches, 204 yards, three TDs. 107 of those 204 yards were after the catch. So Jerry had a crazy game we also had a rushing touchdown with jerry rice as well so that was pretty solid defensively did did he even make like any plays okay so we had one tackle and that was it so mike haynes really didn't get tested yes i know the long td but that wasn't even his fault it's just how the game works but like actual coverage i don't think he let up a single catch so with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below jerry rice the best wide receiver in madden 22 see you guys next time